Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Finance Homefront. It's me, Bev, here as always. Today, we're diving into the world of crypto news. Specifically, we'll be focusing on updates, analysis, and price predictions for XRP. One of the recent headlines surrounding Ripple revolves around Binance's efforts to recover $4.2 million worth of the token that was stolen from a Ripple Labs executive. While this is certainly positive news, the excitement around its price isn't quite as high. Last February 2nd, Ripple is valued at $0.50548. This comes after a slight dip towards the end of January, but there's hope for a rebound as we kick off February. In fact, so far this month, Ripple has seen some gains, starting out at $0.5017 and showing signs of growth. Over the weekend, XRP experienced a modest increase in value rising by 1.57% on Saturday. This uptick followed a similar gain of 0.95% on Friday, culminating in XRP closing the Saturday session at a price of $0.5185 per token. What's particularly noteworthy about this movement is that XRP managed to sustain its positive momentum for the third consecutive session, indicating a potentially bullish trend in the market. This recent series of gains reflects a gradual uptrend in XRP's price, suggesting growing investor confidence in the cryptocurrency. This trend could signal increasing demand for XRP among traders and investors potentially leading to further price appreciation in the near term. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell for the latest updates on all things crypto and finance. Now, examining the broader market context, XRP's recent performance aligns with movements in the overall cryptocurrency landscape. As the market sentiment continues to improve, driven by factors such as increased institutional adoption and growing mainstream acceptance, cryptocurrencies like XRP stand to benefit from renewed investor interest. During the latter part of the week, XRP experienced heightened demand among buyers, driven by updates from the Ripple team. In a notable development, Ripple's Senior Director of Product Marketing for Payments shared an update on LinkedIn, shedding light on the company's recent endeavors. Specifically, the post highlighted that a significant portion, approximately 90% of Ripple's business operations are conducted outside of the United States. After a period of relative quietude in the US market over the past three years regarding Ripple payments, the team is now poised to unveil new product enhancements facilitated by their Money Transmitter Licenses, or MTLs, which encompass a substantial number of U.S. states. The backdrop against which these updates unfold includes Ripple's legal entanglements with the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC. In December 2020, the SEC brought charges against Ripple, along with its CEO Brad Garlinghouse and co-founder Chris Larson alleging that they failed to register XRP as a security. Consequently, Ripple had to curtail its activities within the United States. However, a pivotal ruling regarding the programmatic sales of XRP has reignited interest in Ripple's offerings. In a significant legal development in July, Judge Annalisa Torres ruled that the programmatic sales of XRP did not meet the criteria outlined in the third prong of the Howey test a crucial benchmark for determining whether an asset qualifies as a security. Despite the lingering specter of a potential SEC appeal, the latest update suggests a reinvigorated interest in Ripple's payment solutions within the US market. Investors are anticipating a move from the SEC to contest the programmatic sales ruling, especially considering Judge Torres' rejection of the SEC's motion to file an interlocutory appeal in October. The regulatory landscape remains uncertain, with the SEC awaiting the conclusion of the ongoing SEC v. Ripple case before pursuing any appeal against the programmatic sales ruling. 
Following the conclusion of remedies related discovery, the SEC is required to submit its remedy brief by March 13, as outlined in the court briefing schedule. Subsequently, Ripple is mandated to file its remedy brief by April 12. The SEC is then permitted to file any reply brief by April 19, following which the court will adjudicate on the penalty associated with the breach of Section 5 of the Securities Act. In the upcoming week, Judge Torres may issue a ruling on the SEC motion to compel, which was filed on January 11. This motion seeks to compel Ripple to furnish financial statements for the years 2022 and 2023, along with contracts executed subsequent to the complaint, governing the sale of XRP to institutional investors. From a technical standpoint, XRP's performance has been characterized by its position relative to the 50-day and 200-day exponential moving averages or EMAs, signaling bearish price trends. A resurgence in XRP's value towards the 52 cents threshold could potentially propel it towards the resistance level at $0.5470. Should this resistance be breached, it would empower bullish sentiment potentially allowing for a challenge against the 50-day and 200-day EMAs. Conversely, a dip below the support level at $0.5042 could trigger a descent towards the $0.4700 support threshold. Analyzing the Relative Strength Index or RSI over a 14-day period, which currently stands at 40.28, indicates that XRP might experience a decline below the $0.49 cents mark before entering oversold territory. On a 4-hourly time frame, XRP's position above the 50-day EMA while residing beneath the 200-day EMA suggests bullish signals in the near term, juxtaposed against bearish indicators over a longer time frame. These technical indicators serve as crucial points of reference for investors. Underlining the importance of monitoring U.S. regulatory developments and updates pertinent to the SEC v. Ripple case and forming trading decisions. As we continue to track XRP's journey, remember to keep an eye on both fundamental developments and technical trends to make informed decisions in this ever-changing market. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on the latest XRP updates and any questions you have for our next video. Just a reminder that this video is for educational purposes only. Please do your own research before making any decisions with your money. We will not be held liable for any losses or gains you may experience. We are not your financial or investment advisor. This is completely educational content and should be taken as such. The views expressed in the content are opinions. Nothing on this channel should be taken as a recommendation to buy a particular crypto asset. The information shared on this channel is not indicative of future results. Analyses are not absolute and are prone to change in accordance with present and future market events. Please do all of your own research before you buy any cryptocurrency or any financial product. Thank you for tuning in to our latest episode here at Finance Homefront. If you found this content valuable, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications to stay updated. This makes sure that you're always in the loop and helps our channel gain more visibility. Until next time, happy investing!